Aloha Ohana, all out there, wherever you're hearing from. Hey, uh, this is uh, something I took from 2 Corinthians 2, verses 15 through 16. It says, Our lives are a Christ-like fragrance rising up to God, but this fragrance is perceived differently by those who are being saved and by those who are perishing. To those who are perishing, we are a dreadful smell of death and doom. But to those who are being saved, we are a life-giving perfume, and who is adequate for such a task as this. Uh, you know, I'm often asked, um, what's that smell you're wearing, or cologne? And then I, I would often joke and say, coconut, just without the cocoa. I'm just the nut. Um, but however, truthfully, it's either Herrera or a cologne called unforgivable. I mean, even my family knows when I'm around or when I'm leaving the house. You know, today's devotions got me thinking, what do I really smell like um, with my words, my actions, my thoughts, and my attitude? I, I realized one thing, that ministry uh, doesn't have to exist un uh, unless I realize that ministry is not really about others. It it's about me first. Um, ministry, although we serve others through uh, ministry, we're not doing ministry for others but ourselves first. So in other words, we can't change a person if our hearts are not willing to change. The most dangerous part when it comes to our aroma is that we're so used to, to our smell that we don't even smell it anymore. We become so comfortable with our daily responsibilities that we don't even want to change. So my encouragement, when you go around in public, at home, in family gatherings, um, what kind of aroma are you carrying around with you? Is it that life-giving aroma or fragrance of Christ where people can smell love, peace, patience, joy, kindness, goodness, gentleness, uh, faithfulness, and self-control? Is it a, a smell uh, like a pikaki lei, that sweet, fragrant smell? Because other than that, we, we may just bring in the smell of death, uh, that smell of hate, that smell of bitterness, that smell of anger, that smell of unforgiveness. So as an encouragement, wherever you are, take that life-giving fragrance of Christ because you just don't know that through that aroma of Christ, the life that you'll be able to touch and bless this day. Aloha, everybody.